I'm with uh, Gary Loftus and uh, with Ms. Uh, Rasak at um, an event organised by uh, Forever Manchester, um, which is the uh, short name for the Community Foundation for Greater Manchester. And the event's been about asset-based community development, and it's been about community building and networks. And uh, I think you're the first organisation that's actually appointed a community builder in this mould. And that is Ms. So I'm interested in how did you get to the point of uh, making that appointment? And then maybe we'll talk about what that might mean on the ground. Okay. In a nutshell, um, we went through some great organisational changes earlier on in the year. Um, that gave us an opportunity to restructure. We restructured into three segments, one business, one, op or one operations and one development. So as we went a bit further on and we met with Carmack, uh, with Carmack's, Carmack Russell's guidance, we um, looked at community building and how we could actually marry that up to some of the grant programmes that we run, uh, particularly the Fair Share Trust, what we've got 10 areas across Greater Manchester. So with some consultation with the local panels, a bit more exploration, we decided that community building would be the way forward for community foundations in the future, using our resources of grant making and endowment building. So it wasn't very difficult to um, persuade the panels in Oldham that um, a worker was required and a community builder seemed to be the best option. Somewhere in between community organiser and community um, development worker, focusing on the building of relationships at a grassroots level within local neighbourhoods. Um, and what we felt was that with the grant programmes and small amounts of money that we could marry up to that, we could really make a difference and go back to the roots of a real community foundation. Because um, a lot of the community development work, community organising work, um, struggles because uh, they have to go to other funders to ask for funding. But you've got a possibility here of building, of blending the whole thing together, which is really different. And I think that was the unique opportunity that we sort of spotted through some of the work that we were doing through asset-based community development. We sort of seen that. As you, I sort of like started thinking about community foundation, what does that mean? Foundations that build something, we build endowment, community building was introduced to us and that just seemed the perfect match to employ a community builder using our own independent money as we grow that independent, in, uh, as we grow that fund in the future. And uh, Ms, if I can uh, turn to you, that's all the organisational explanation. Uh, when you meet people in Oldham where you're working, um, how do you explain it to them? Um, well, I've not actually met that many people yet. We've had a um, consultation meeting uh, last week in a local school, which is the second meeting that's been done. Um, and really, it, it's just explaining to them that we want their ideas. Um, we want to hear about the things that they like about their community and the stuff that they want to do. And that I'm there to help, for want of a better word, facilitate that for them and act as a middleman between them. Um, parts of money that might be available, um, links that they can make with any assistance that's available in local council, local housing association, the local voluntary service, things like that. Um, and just get them to think in a more business-like manner in a way about the projects that they want to do in their area, um, whether that's jam making or a veg growing scheme, or whether it's something a little bit bigger like you know neighbourhood watch and looking at security and information and safety for people around their area. So absolutely anything, we're open to any ideas, um, as long as they give me the ideas and then I can help them nurture them. So are you having to make this up as you go along, or are there um, uh, other professional, um, obviously there's all the community development work in the past and so forth, uh, where do you find sort of guidance and inspiration for your work? Is there anything you've done personally which you think you're going to find uh, useful here? Um, I've worked on a few uh, community-based projects in the past, um, but obviously there's a network of people that are around us, people that are linked with the community, community foundation network, who as we've found today, have been working in this manner in the past. Um, so, I mean, I can learn from various projects across the UK. Um, a lot of work that Forever Manchester's done already is asset-based work. Uh, and then we've got all the support that we get from Nurture Development, who've been around today giving us talks and ideas of projects across the globe. So I think asset-based community development is kind of formalising ways of working that people have had that kind of attitude for a long time. Um, and this is bringing it all together under one 
formal strategy for all these people. So there is a network for all these people who work in this manner. Um, and for ideas for myself, um, it's not up to my ideas. <laughs> it's up to the community. <laughs> so it, it's, it's a, um, a new job title, but you're saying that there's been a lot of this going on before and you've got a great opportunity to pull together um, uh, expertise from people who've been working in this kind of way, but standing on the side of the uh, people of Oldham and anywhere else. So uh, does, do you think that's going to feel um, a kind of positive and good thing to be doing? Yeah, it does, yeah. It's a little overwhelming, but I've got Gary to help. <laughs> um, it is a little overwhelming, um, and I mean, it is a new job title, yes. Um, but I think people who've worked in community development roles in the past, there has been another agenda there through their organisation or their funding stream or whatever. So this is a, uh, we, we, we're not tied like that. Um, we have certain streams that we're working with but the main focus is to work on the community and work with community ideas so 